So that so he's giving an example. So when a person conceives of a new idea, they're bringing down the seichel from the mokra seichel and nikra maskil. So there's a level now he's introducing called maskil. Echa mask. Lepamim ainu nefel le seichel mo ma'ila maseh. Lepam ainu nefel le seichel mo ma'ila maseh. At times, it does not. The, the, at times, does not arise, does not fall into his mind something from higher than seichel. Let me see what that means. So in the parentheses he says, "Vahainu she'ena gili muchach liyus." This gili does not have to. It's not forced. It's not. It doesn't have to happen. But b'derech chalal kol gilim shabenefesh. Generally, all the giluim, all the revelations of the soul, of the spirit, einim shemuchrochim hagilim. It's not that they must happen. Meshkos mokamachet. You do it, but this year gili a sechel a day harotzen. In order for there to be a gili of sechel, you need will. A chopam gam harotzen ain't a moil. Sometimes even will doesn't help. That gam should etzel is chakim, even though he may want to understand something or conceive something. Mokom mokim ain't a mischakim. Doesn't mean that sometimes it doesn't work. He's just not conceiving. Oy shelo yesh is oy shelo yesh is gal harotzen. Or it's possible he doesn't have the real revealed of his will. Will. Because also the revealing of the Ratzin is not forced. You can't force someone to want something. Okay, one second. Let me understand what he's saying here. Saying like this. In order for a person to conceive, he has to reach into the level, it's a hamshacha that comes from a level of mask. But there are times that seichel cannot reach higher than seichel. That place. Because you, can, it's not for, you can't force it. You can't force it. So how does it come down from that place? How, does, how then does the conceiving come down? It's not always, how do you, uh, how do you initiate it? So he says, "Hari b'hech rechlemer she has dover shalom ma'elam b'chinas mokar asechol hamaskil shulim amkash l'machab b'lobe de gilu b'sechol." So you have to say that there's some level that's higher than the source of sechol that tells it to come down and 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 binds it to the gilu and sechol. You understand what he's saying here? That the person wants to conceive of an idea. Sorry. A person that wants to conceive of an idea, but not always are you able to conceive, because you can't force it. So you have to say there's a level that connects that which is higher than Seichel. What, what, what's the Hebra? I don't understand the Hebra. The Hechach is, how can you initiate something that's beyond the unconscious to come down to the conscious? How does the unconscious come down to the conscious? Like you just said in the parentheses, you can't force it. You know, usually it comes from will, but sometimes you want it, it doesn't happen. Right. So, he's, so that is saying, is Behecha tells us that there's something that is higher. Why, why, do we, why do we conclude? Because it doesn't work sometimes. Why do we conclude that there must be... Because the fact is you could bring it down. There's a way to, there's a way to do it. In the experiential, the experiential. Yeah, yeah, that, there's a way to do that. I mean, let's finish and I think you'll understand. Okay. And this level is Because when there is a will, the binding is through the rotsen. And that also comes through das. I'm just reading it, and we'll understand in a minute. But the main, the main uh, the main binding with his mind that comes from Das is that it forces it to connect. Okay. So that's
Fíjense. Fíjense que es el más que el Zéu Anikra Choch Mistimó. La pequeña de la mano es el Zéu Pequeña de la vida de la vida de la crema. Si me cacho, me cago en el Choch Mistimó, la vida de Gile. Voy en ese cartel, me da el cabo de Zéu. Ok. Es una muy complicada pieza que tiene que ser realmente trabajada. Rosenthal allows your Ratzon to become the Abish's Ratzon and then you can get more of these uh, uh, Chachmas coming down. What it says? One second. Okay. I'll just explain it and then I'll read it. What he's saying is like this. It just, it just, it's written very uh, densely. He's saying, is, as I said, he's trying to connect the process of how Chachma, the deepest Chachma, primis Chachma of Sema, comes all the way into Chachma Gluya. Because that's the key here, right? That's the bridge. So, my initial understanding of it is like this. Chachmist, to come to Chachmagluya. That happens, well, you know, and sometimes it doesn't happen. You know, sometimes you conceive an idea. Where did the idea come from? It came from the unconscious, fine. But there are times that's not going to work. You know, you could, sometimes your mind is closed. You're unable to go there. You're, and more importantly, um, how deep are you going really into Chachmist so what he's adding here is the following, that the real process of intellectual process, there's really three steps. We'll go backwards. This Chach Magluya, the Chach we're conscious of, we know that comes from a place called Koya Hamaskil, an unconscious state. But what actually creates the link between the Koya Hamaskil to the Chach Magluya? What really makes that happen? So sometimes it happens, you just sit down and you conceive of an idea. You don't need any special effort. But let's say it's not working that way. Well, how can you compel it? Can you make it come down? So he's saying here like this, that um, there's a level called Das of Atik, which is the Avir, that's the space above the crown, that has a power to force the Kriya Hamaskal to send the thought down into Kriya Chagogili. The only way to reach that is through Kabbalah Sel. That's Er Chayza, that's like Tshuva. So if a person is like this, has, a, has, a, has a, a block, like writer's block or a mind block, um, one of the, uh, 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 an, another way to get there is when you have the Kabbalah sale that Abishta says you should sit down and learn Teda. So just the Kabbalah sale of doing it will arouse the Das of Atik that will in turn tell the Kayach HaMaskal to send thoughts down into your brain. So it's, a, so, so it's an interesting twist here. Kabbalah sale makes you think, I mean, usually you think of Kabbalah sale as being like like, like, like opposite of Seichel. So here the Kabbalah Seil, to let's say the Kabbalah Seil to learn Teda, or the Ebishter says you should learn Teda, in turn touches the deepest level of the unconscious, the premius Chach Mistema, to force Chach Mistema to go into Chach Magluya. That's basically what he's saying. Here. So it's it's very, you know, it's very, it's like a whole he twist. He refers to a mitzvah, this, but this time it's a mitzvah doing Torah. Right. Why it's complicated is because he's mixing Avoide here together with Seichel, like, 
Right. You know, the, initially it was just the process of thinking, right. but now he's bringing the idea of erchezer and shuvah into it because that's connected to the kteres. You know, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's so it's a, a very very dense here. That's why I'm, I got confused there. I still have to figure it out. So so I want to just so let's let's so let's just read it again again here. So like it's. When a person is conceiving of a new idea, this is a shock that comes from Mokra Seichel Maskel. Okay, that's clear enough. Although, Pom in a Nefile Seichel Mamayel Maskel. But there are times when it doesn't happen. When he's unable to conceive. When he's able to, unable to draw down from the Mayel Maskel into Seichel. And the parentheses he says, I won't read it again because we read it already. Because you can't force it. Because in a gili So it's not like you can say, you know, I want to have an idea in my mind right now. You can't force it. Even will doesn't force it. You're talking about a new idea. Yeah. Even willpower doesn't force it. Or the reveal or the will isn't there, but you can't force will either. Then after parentheses, how did Behechel claim it? What's the Hechel? Because the bottom line is, as you said, experientially, the fact is you see that you could, you could ultimately bring down that Seichel. So you have to say, there's a level, there's a level, Oh no, that's not, I don't think that's experiential. I think he's saying something else. Oh. The fact that you don't always, are always able to initiate a thought from the unconscious tells you that even when you do, it's not just happening. Something is telling it to happen. Because if not, it would just happen all the time. If, for example, there's a leak in the roof here, uh, water is going to always drop in. But you know, it's just a natural process. What the fact that it doesn't always happen means there's something, some monitor, there's some uh, uh, what's it called? Some uh, monitor is the right word. It's not monitor. Some regulator that's regulating that flow. What's that regulator? What's that mysterious? That's why it's muchlech leimer. That's the vart. You can't force seichel to come. The fact that it comes sometimes is great, but the fact that it doesn't tells you that some what's 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 causing it to happen. What's not causing? So that's why behechlech leimer. She has dovish shalemayla no bchinis makar seichel. That there's something higher than the faucet, than the unconscious reservoir. Basically, think of it like this: the chachma gluya is the water coming out of the faucet. Chayyichamaskil is a reservoir of ideas, but what's what? Why is it sometimes come through the force and why sometimes it doesn't? We know you can't force it, so there has to be something above the reservoir that tells it you go now down through the force into the chach. That's what he's basically saying. What is that level? So it has to be higher than the mokra seichel amaskil. He says, and th- and that does force it. Here it does force it, but it's. A different type of force. It forces the Kayachama, the reservoir, to get to, to produce an idea, to conceive of an idea. And that's Das. So when you really want it, like you said before, wanting can also do it. But there's sometimes it doesn't work. The wanting doesn't work. That, that's also through Das, he's saying. Mm-hmm. But Ikaris Kashus. Is coming from the das that's machriach, you to connect it. Right. What's that machriach going to be? The kabbalah cell. One second, we didn't get there yet. Behind the mashad das esa his chabus keich hamaskel ends up in his mokel shubadrog. He's explaining what hechrach means. He's saying it's not machriach; it's like it's forcing it. It means it's another level. It's not coming from its own level. It's not the reservoir deciding. So that's called hechrach because as soon as you have a third level telling it, it's already. That's what he means by hechech. It's not hechech as in, you can't force someone to think. But das, because it's a higher level, can push it and compel the kreich hamaskil to produce an idea. Wow, this is like heavy stuff here. Das is a okay. higher level? Das of Atik. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's a das from the book, yeah. Yeah, one second, one second, one second. Okay. And, 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 so Kabbalah essentially triggers the regulator 
to send the reservoir a conceive an idea. That's how it works. That's the Erechazer of Tshuva. You understand? Yeah. The Tshuva, the Kabbalah cell from below, goes all the way into the source, above the source, makes the source send something into the into the into the gili. That's the what he's why saying. Is always, why is it only Kabbalah cell of learning Torah? Why can't it be other mitzvahs? No, no. It, I could talk about Kabbalah cell to learn, to use your mind, because we're talking about mind. Thing. Yeah, what if you say it like that, doesn't make, it still doesn't make sense. If you answer both that mind, then there's no one. No, so he was saying, Kashar Machri Chatzme. When he forces himself to learn, Hariyu Nason Atzme, El Alimud, he then commits himself and completely, Nason uh, Atzme, you know, he dedicates himself, throws himself. Yeah, what if he throws himself into learning just because he enjoys learning? One second, one second. The Ena Kavona Shahechra Churach Hatzeni, Ukila Kofi. This doesn't mean. He's forcing himself as just some type of external, superficial thing, and like he was kili kofi, like somebody tied him up or somebody forced him to do it. It means it's not like somebody doing something like like you know tying your hands and doing it, uh, you're pulling teeth. It means that you are forcing yourself to be completely dedicated to it, completely committed to it. This is what das is that you makash yourself to something. Let me just finish reading, and then we'll. By dezeh, gam kein boim giluyim mekayech hamaskel, and that's what brings down giluyim from the kayech hamaskel. And Samach Vavi says this by the piece of Yigiyah. You have a good mind, you pick up ideas, but when you struggle and exert yourself, you pick up deeper ideas. Because what does exertion do? It breaks the stone, as he says there, so you can bring things out that you would never be able to bring. He gives the example between the coal, the hot coal, and the flintstone. Yeah, right. So a hot coal, you have to just blow on it, and you get the fire. A flintstone, you have to hit it, yeah. and so then you get the sparks. Or exactly. And that's the Lucha Shnish. That's the Tshuva. That's the Kabbalah cell. So the idea is, when a person is, let's say, let's say in the secular world, if your mind is blocked, your mind is blocked. I don't want to say what some writers do to get it open. You know, <laughs> they do kinds of things to get their minds open. In Yiddishkeit, to get your mind open, one thing to do is that you completely say, God wants me to learn, I'm going to go. And you, put, you throw yourself completely into it. You force yourself to do it. You completely do it because this is what you should be doing. And then you crack the block and suddenly Giluim come in that you wouldn't get on your own. Is, That's essentially what he's saying. Is it like, is it like uh, Kriyas Yamsu? That, in other words, the, the Gili was equal everywhere, but the Kabbalah soul was, it, it, since he has Kabbalah soul across the board. Yeah, you could say something like so that. it comes out in, in an open way. So now, we, now we've lost the advantage of Kabbalah soul, because now we really want this Kabbalah soul in order to get an objective. Don't That's a, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like... Oh, so let, me, let me just finish. Okay. But the source of these Giluim is coming from higher from the Kayach HaMaskil. The Kayach HaMaskil, what did he say? Was the chetzen is chachmas Am I right? Is that right, Yudah? Just say yes. Because yeah. you know, it's like the middle of the class. The teacher says, Yudah, repeat what we just learned. That's the will of God. But it's because we're equal across the board. Because if Baal Soul made even the kolcha masculine in, in, involved in the kapal soul, therefore it's not a hidden kolcha anymore. It's all become at the level of the Bible soul, which is this yeah. equal yeah. quality. What's that? Yeah, okay. Is that the reasonable thing? You think that's true? Not sure what you're saying exactly. What I'm saying is that by, by Priest Yam, so because there was a Gili with Michael, so then Yam and Suf became equal. Right, the Yam so, and Yabasha, yeah. So, you know, Yam and Yabasha became equal, therefore the, everything was Begili. So here we're involved in Kabbalah soul, which is a, a tremendous quality. And everything horror is equal before it, and therefore it I, mean, I don't know happen. why the word equal is. Uh, wanna, he wanna, doesn't bring that. Doesn't say that here. I to me, that. here more the Kabbalah sale looks like it breaks through. Kabbalah sale breaks through the block that Seichel may have. It sounds like the hechik though is the das. In other words, the das, you, the das makes the hiskashes. But what the is also goes both ways. When you makash yourself with Kabbalah sale to the learning, yeah. so the das of an atik in turn is Mikasha the Seichel to you. It's like almost like a, that's what it looks like what he's yeah, saying. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. But what's the effect? If you're a bubble soul, why does it work that way? Because once you're in that level, there... You could say that, or you could say like he said, because it's a break, but cabal cell helps break the rock, helps break the resistance. 
understand? If you don't have Kabbalah sale, you resi- the resistance is there, you have nothing to, to challenge it with. And that's what it sounds like to me, is what he's saying. Uh-huh. But okay. I did go, so let me just ask you. Okay, these gilim are mile from Kei Hamas, and it's shown in the Vida Hanal, Mela Gilim, him and Nylon Biesa. And these gilim are very high gilim. So Kabbalah sale brings down a level of Seichel you never could have had on your own. But is there al derech beis keches hanal she bechachma? Don't worry, the plot thickens still. Yeah, this is like the two levels of chachma. Kamaykein bechachma stima. Remember, all of this is coming to explain the beginning top of the page that primis chachma stima adds shlemus into chachma. That's the the nakuda here. We really have to divide this two this parak into two levels here, into two sections here. This whole piece is coming to explain how primis chachmas tema at shleimus and chachma, the chetzayin chachmas tema and chachma gluya. So these are like the two levels of chachma. The same things of chachma and these galus from primis chachmas tema chachmas tema. Bob bekoyach primis ha primis. So primis chachmas tema is like the hafla. Chetzayin chachmas tema is like the yerida. Umemela yes bezav primis ha primis is our shleimus. You say the begili ha chachma. But bechachma gluya and his brother El Peder Kufsa says the kshelo yesh kei chafla gam kei chayidu chasa. And when you're missing the kei chafla, you can't go deeper into it, into the wonder of it. You also don't know how to bring it down. The kan bechachmas tima shemesiv shlemus. There, the vart is that the higher level, if you don't have it, it weakens the lower level. Here, you can't say it weakens it. You can only say it adds shlemus to it. But the main, the main kavana, when we when the the, part, the ability that we have to come to primis chachmas it's not just that the primis should add shlemus light into the chetzenius. And it's the reveal level, but the reveal level is Rakhir Sainz Chachmas Tama, but M is Gamba Nal, who is Galas Bechin Saprimis. Even that has the premise. But the real Kavana, Kima Kavana, she is Galas Bechin Saprimis Chachmas Tama, Mamish, Zer Bekech Er Chazer Dafke. In other words, all this that he said adds Shlemus to it, but he wants to say that we really want to reach all the way into the premise Chachmas Tama, not just the Shlemus that it adds Rakhir Sainz Chachmas Tama. And that's through the Kech of Er Chazer. So oh, this, this is hot, heavy. We're this is we're doing this all for the age to come. We really want the, the, the tiny to come from, from, the, from, from, from the premise of. Uh, right, so I want to read the kids. From all this, we understand Chachmas Tema is the Mamutza. The external part is the source for Chachma Gluya. The primi is, is mamish atik, is atik, that's mamish, atik mamish, that's completely concealed. It's still primi of chachmas tema. It's not mamish. It is chachma. But it's also ene manat salim, shari hu sasim But it's also not from the emanations because it's the etzim concealed. It's Still, the personality of the Nitzal of Chachma, while Kain Yechelim love the Pchinus Atzmiz Nei Chachmas Tema, and that's why from Chachma Glu you can come to the Atzmiz of Chachmas Tema. By the Zel Agil of Pchinus Atzmiz, and through that to reach Atzmiz Mamish. By Inyan Hu, the Pchinus Meichus Tema of Pchinus Avira De Asanelam. And the explanation is because the Pchinus of Meichus Tema is Avira, is that is that Avira, is that space, which is called the hidden Das Das of Atik. And that's the level that forces the reservoir, the Kreyach HaMasach, to bring Seichel into Chach Megluye. Hmm. And this is what means to learn Tere with Kabbalah Seil, that he completely gives himself into it, throws himself into it. And the Gili of those Haskolas come all the way from Avira, which is Chach Medaatik. And also, another thing is that the Kech of Echezer, which is a tshuva, can bring down the Gilead Pchinus Primis Chach Mestema. Well, let me say this. How I understand this, 
And I'll repeat what I said before. Animals and nature don't have this capacity of Chachma. They don't have Chachma. They have what we call Dasa Nikna, Seichla Nikna, which means they, they can be very intuitive and they can be very intelligent in how they hunt, but it's all about survival. You don't see them changing the world. You don't see them abstracting. You don't see them fantasizing, dreaming about a better universe. It's not their thing. They have no causes. They don't march. Right? For animal rights. In the Halalukas, it says about how all the animals praise Hashem and everybody praise Hashem. Yeah, yeah, that, that, but that's part of the clock. The sun bows through its... Uh, but there's no changing. They never change course. They never... We can choose not to praise Hashem. They can't. How about the Malach? Malach is also the same thing. It's nature. Malach... Malach... How do they take oil Malach of Shemayim? How do they take an oil? So Chassidus talks about it. Their oil is also within their uh, program. They're programmed. Okay. There's no will. It's part of a clockwork that God created a system, a structure that's necessary. Ooh. Keeps the balance going. The human being has will, but will is more than just will. Do we praise these things? It seems like animals. Right? It's true. And Samal asked that question. Why do we need Malach and Mamur much higher? And Hashem is... Yeah. Why do, we, why do we praise them in Babylon? The truth is we praise them for one reason, because they are models for us uh-huh. of a look certain level. It's, yeah, it's like, it's like why you, uh-huh. as you look at nature, it right, gives right, you right. a lesson into what Elikus is. Right, right, right. So they're more like, they're really there for us uh-huh. to teach us how to be. Okay. Uh, but, we, we, but the game is played by us. You know, we're in the, in the game. Right. We have the partnership. They're we can... The, uh... You know, they're props. There's no risks by them, right? We right. take the risk, right? Exactly. They're props. They are. They're a backdrop. Jose de Stasos is actually a backdrop. It's a structure for us to come into the into the ring and then, then figure it out. So the Seichel, the Chachma we have, Chachma is that Mamutza because Chachma gives us the ability to travel to places we can never go to on our own. Psychologically speaking, you know, there's the concept of a cognitive life raft. You hear the idea? It's used by some. It's very, it's brilliant. It's very, I mean, it's from Amish Chassidus. It's like when a person who's really been abused or hurt, and emotionally they can't go there because they're afraid. So one of the ways to do it is you, you help them go there with their mind. You, you dream of a better world, so to speak. And slowly you create a cognitive life raft, because the mind is not so, it doesn't have fear. So the mind can imagine, imagine living, a, a, let's say a person's terrified of getting married, because their parents' marriage was horrible or you know, terrified of having children because they, they, they were abused as a child. So you help them, them imagine a cognitive That's picture. Uh, exactly. And slowly, it allows the, like, it's almost like showing a child there's no, there's no monster in the closet, and the sh- child slowly begins to peek out and allows its emotions to come into play. It's a meridika concept. It's like Mayak Shalat al in a way, but not controlling your, it's more like, the mind is like is like the captain of the ship saying to the emotions, "Listen, let me explore it. We're not going there yet. We're not committing, and I'll let you know what's happening." But slowly, you begin to say, "It's not so bad." You know, it's like it's it's, it's training a, 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 a frightened heart to open itself up. So the concept of the mind, the mind can take a person to places that we are not there yet, and we see that all the time. You know, you can conceive of something. The challenge is, of course, is not just to live in your head but to bring it down and actually live up to it. But the mind can bring you somewhere. You learn this. you may not be on this level, but it takes you to a place that's another world. And then, hopefully with time and you work on it, you begin to be more refined as in, the, in the process. So, Chachma, therefore, is this, is, this, is this, from our end, helps us go to a place that's higher than the Natsalim, let's put it this way, into the Maitzel. From God's perspective, Atmos in some way, manifested himself in the Chacham. We said that earlier that that still needs to be determined. How did the Maitzel get into Chach, into Chach, even Primis Chach Mestima? But we already bridged somewhat of the gap because Chacham has taken away the big divide. And the fact is, Primis Chach Mestima, as he keeps saying here, is not Chacham, but it's also not the source, it's not the essence. It's the beginning of it all. So the bridge, how it, how it travels is, on one hand, there's the traveling from the unconscious into the conscious mind. Okay, so that's a bridge. But now what he added here is to really get into the premise of Chach Mistema. I just want to see something before we... One second.
Okay. So to explain how this works, he went into this whole discussion of Das, of Atik, which is the concept of how you really get, how does the unconscious transmit his Seichel into the conscious. So he got into this whole discussion here that it can happen just naturally. But another way that it happens is through Kabbalah Seil, that a person exerts himself and commits himself, and that in turn uh, switches on something in that generator, Das of Atik, which in turn t- compels the unconscious to be Mamshech Nuz Giluyim into the conscious. But he says it in a way, he doesn't we're really... We're in we're uh, most, of, most of us are in the Sia. We have to go to all these different, to all these worlds, okay. and then play this out on the Tzilas, I mean, or... <laughs> it doesn't matter, it, it's all, it happens on many levels just right, the same way. Obviously, here he's talking in the most pure way, yeah. it's not Tzilas. But the truth is, is from a Moshal from us, like he says, a person is trying to make, conceive new ideas. Now, he doesn't say it in an organized way, like I just said it, but, but I think that's what he's trying to say. So there's the natural flow from Chachma Nistema to Chachma Guya. Okay, that's fine. Then there's times that it doesn't really work, and Rotson itself is not enough, so you need something deeper, the Kabbalah cell, so it's, it's a Das. So there is a Chachma Tzema of a Sia. In some way. Yeah, but usually, it, yeah, because as we said, microcosm, macrocosm, so yeah. everything. But generally, Chachm is you're talking about Kesser Atzilus. That's usually I, where, it's, where the level is going. Okay. Remember, Atzilus is the essence of, of Asiya also. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, it's, it's, of Atzi- I mean, think Atzilus is. It's like an onion. Each lo- each yeah, exactly. Is and Atzilus is how. If, if uh, Atzilus is the. is is. All everything that exists in Asiya in its in its um, archetypal form is Atsilus. So the Atsilus is like pure Chachma. By the time it comes to Asiya, the pure has now been tainted by Yesh, by selfishness, by 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 uh, whatever, you know. But think of it like if you if you're able to strip away the Asiya, Yitzir, and Bria, Chachma is pure form. It's important to talk about that in that way because the only way you can talk about a subject matter is you talk about it in its pristine form. And then you can talk about how to get from there to here. Yeah, you don't necessarily Look, get it from the same. Dr. Lang, once you, you were once a, a newborn child, you know that. That's what right? they told me. Yeah. You're crawling around, you had all your innocence and all your purity. If you look at a picture of yourself when you were a young boy, and then you look, how did I get from there to here? But you were there, and that person is still there. That's what we believe. Shuva means return. It doesn't mean creating new. You're going back to what you really were. So when we talk about a person in their pure form, you know, why do we talk about Aud Machab and Gan Eden? Because we're talking about how human beings were before, the, before the, the, they lost their innocence. It's not uh, fancy, it's, it still exists, that level. Atsilis within each of us exists. Atsilis is the pure you. The fact that you wandered away, or right? all of us wandered away, that's, but you don't want to become, you don't want to define your personality by who you wandered. Where you wandered, you wanted to find a person. That's where I am. That I'm really that person who wandered away, and I want to get back. That's why it's critical to talk about it in in, in the highest level, because that it is accessible. That's the point. That's the beauty of it. There's no such thing as uh, you know. But it's like we're saying, we 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 may have suffered, but we're not sufferers. We may have wandered away, but we but we don't believe that where we are now is where our real place is. The real you is there. You know, when the Rambam says that you force somebody to give a get, God forbid, you know, in a situation like that, how could you force? So he says, because your premium is really you want it. It's, it's your Yetzirah that's forcing you. So the way we look at a Jew, we look at a person is, Be'etzem, he's the person that was in Gan Eden before, you know, in Atzillus. And then the Neshama came down and went through all. Every morning we say, Neshama Shunasatabi, Taherahi, that's Atzillus. Ata Barasa. If we were not Atsilas, we wouldn't say Nisham and said, why is it Tahir? It's not Tahir anymore. It's not pure. I'm now an Asiya. So we say it because Anishama every morning is refreshed from that place. And then, yeah, unfortunately, we have our life routines and behaviors and, and the mistakes we've made that shape us into who we are. But, um, but that never define a person. You see, what the beauty of what the Rebbe did was he never looked at a person for what you saw. You look for a person what he really is, what you're capable of. Not to be in denial, we have to know where we are. Like the, the Alter Rebbe says, the secret to greatness is that they ask Chassidus, Chassidus taught us how small you are and how great you can become. Now if you only have one of the two, you've got yourself a problem. 
There's some people who know how small they are, they don't know how great they can become. There are people who know how, how great they can become, they don't know how small they are. So it's really, you need to have a very good picture of both, both, of both sides. You know, when they, Henry Kissinger writes in his memoir, memoirs that the night that Nixon resigned after Watergate, so he was walking out of the what? And walking out of the, they were like praying together or something. Okay, they were kneeling down. Yeah. So uh, they came. There's a big, big porch. I can picture Nixon doing it. A, <laughs> a Jew. <laughs> uh, anyway, so they're walking out. There's the big portrait of John F. Kennedy. You know, like he's sitting on a chair pondering in the White House. Nixon stopped at the portrait and said the following words. They love you because you remind them of what they want to be. They, they hate me because I remind them of who they are. <laughs> <laughs> that's a kind of cynic and I... That's a de the Democrat is a, is a fantasy land, and the Republicans are very uh... right. So, um, so you, this is who we want to be, and this is who we are. So this is a, this. I'm glad we went through this chapter because I, I can't I can't see myself learning the next chapters. You have to because he's going to. I think huh? we skipped a lot of this. Okay, fine. So then, is it good? This this is a chapter. This needs real struggling. This. Also, you can see the Rebbe Rashab is writing, he's concentrating a lot of ideas in a few lines, and he's, you know, the, 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 I can see a big difference between this, and I'm, I'm almost sure that this period was written later, or, you know, at a different moment, because it doesn't have the same flow. He's summing up, so he's, there's a lot of things he's filling in that he didn't say earlier, or you could see, you could see, because he bavarns a lot of things, hechrech and das, there's a lot of little pieces here. So to really learn this properly, you have to go back to back to the Kaya Hafla and the Kaya Khiri. The it's a real picture here. This is this is powerful stuff. It's how the unconscious comes into the conscious. That's the the, the, the secret here. What I'm confused is a bit about how it happens naturally and when it's through Kabbalah sale. That is not so clear to me. There needs more has in this. There needs a lot more has body here. And then you have to go back to the summer flow, maybe, to understand that. Yeah, there's a part of that. You also have to know whether it's exactly the same level, is different levels. Like you said, exertion. It doesn't word to use the word exertion. I used it. I know. It doesn't say yagi, it says kabbalah sale. The sinner. Here it's more about giving yourself over to it. He doesn't use, it doesn't word yagi. Yagi would be very nice, but that's not really what he's saying here. Does kabbalah sale mean that it has to be hard, it has to be difficult? It depends whether you find doing something you don't want to do difficult. <laughs> Kabbalah cell means that you're doing it not because of you, but because you because of a higher calling. Some people find that easy, and some people find that difficult. That's what I would say. Some right. people are natural right. Kabbalah cell mix. Exactly. Then it doesn't work. Does it work? Yeah. You, you could say it's a bigger avoider for a person who's a baseichel to have Kabbalah cell than for someone who's not seichel. It's true. Uh, look, there's Kabbalah sale also, there's, let's not confuse Kabbalah sale with cultural uh, programming and conformity. Real Kabbalah sale is not conformity. Well, you know, in other words, the fact that somebody goes to Shulon 770, do someone puts on film, many people just do it because they were programmed to do it. They don't do it with Kabbalah sale. Um, the, you know, Kabbalah sale is, is, a, is, is oil, should be an effort. It's been a, yeah. So it is, so it is, so it is. Yeah, I mean, look, any discipline is a year because that's why about you is higher than the tzaddik, right? Because about you has to get out of his uh, tzaddik is going to not have any effort for this. It's going to be all perfect. He's going to enjoy. It. He's going to enjoy every minute of putting on the film. He's going to feel the, 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 the everything good. And, and, uh, so you, you almost have, if you're a tzaddik, it's very hard to have the most oil. So that's the advantage of about you over the tzaddik. Well, look, in this world, it's not difficult. Uh, in this world, we all need some Kabbalah sale because it's very easy to forget about God any given moment, you know. Um, and therefore, you always you need to have, a, you have to remind yourself That's that there's a higher presence. Um, what I was distinguishing is between mitzvah sanoshim and lamada, you know, where a person does mitzvahs mechanically, that's not necessarily a Kabbalah sale. 
But here Kabbalah says what he's referring to is very specific. He's saying somebody who throws himself into learning, into Esa Katera, that even though he doesn't want to do it, like we'll use specimen A, you're the pimenta, and he forces himself to sit and, and completely commit himself with his mind and heart and soul, and so on. And uh, um, for me, for example, learning this is not so Kabbalah self. I have, I have Gishmak in it. Me too. So okay, finished. fine. Finished. So the Giluim that you're going to have in Seichel says here is going to be a lot deeper than what we're going to have. Uh -huh. But everybody has something that they don't enjoy. They used to say about Mr. Nemanov that he used to away, he used to start learning, he'd get excited about it, he would change subjects. Just because he didn't want to, wow. He didn't want to do, uh, that's what they he say. Wasn't I don't know pleasure. if it's true or not, but they say, yeah. Uh, yeah. Say, as soon as he would get into it, he would change. That's right. Wow. I think we all have that, no? I think people that enjoy learning, you know, you don't. There's some things that we enjoy learning. No, no, no absolutely. To have a geschmack and learning is a lot better than having a geschmack and other shtusim. You know, so there's no question. I'm asking, uh, for example, let's say you enjoy this. Halacha. I don't know if, if it would be in the same, if you would enjoy it this, this and much. Hanami, and Hanami. So I guess that would be the, uh, everybody has that area in Torah to... Uh, no, for sure, also. absolutely, absolutely. And that's what it does. So, so yes, there is a, a remedy here, which is clear cut. Huh? That's it. Yeah. No, it's not something, but you gotta, uh, you got to break yourself. Remember, remember, he's going to go into the next parak. Remember the whole sugi where Taino goes into Chachma, that you have pleasure when you... Yeah. That's also Atik in Chachma. That's yeah. also the unconscious. That's what I was asking before. I, 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 when he started being... He's going back there. Atik, but... I, I said, so as soon as you end the whole thing... <laughs> So you have to the whole because ultimately you want tiny. <laughs> That's funny. Funny to have a Kabbalah as well, huh? <laughs> yeah, but, but hey, the Kabbalah soul is difficult. Depends I'm saying it, it, there's a price well, you're paying for it, you know? Yeah. You're working hard for it. <laughs> That's what it is. Ooh, we're very selfish. All the scissors like I'm not a ticket. It's real. It, it want, I want, I want, I want the pleasures of God. I don't want, I don't want, I want the Agrist to that's still to the other. But never said, do this, Ganade, do this. Atmos, yeah. So he, he, he's, he, he wants, Atmos is already higher than, than, than Atik. So it's even higher than the pleasure it is. principle. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to save it. Okay.